Do you want David Nunes to... Is a breakout star? Breakout star? Yeah, could be. Could He's be. a breakdance star, bro. <laughs> yeah. He'll, he'll break out in the stands and get a fight. Get into a fight star. That's that, bro. That's... I will, in the interest of time, I'm going to challenge this group to run through Liverpool in five minutes. Let's do this, boys. Liverpool's defense. Nira. Slightly weaker than last to last season and stuff like that. I I mean, tough. It's remained the same. I would just say seven and a half on ten. It's a very hard thing to predict because Arne slot ball is very confusing. To be very honest, <laughs> I don't I don't know what to make of it. Seven and a half on ten. Yeah, sure. Stop giving any reputers. <laughs> any reputers. Okay, Nirav, Liverpool midfield, bro. I would say eight and a half on ten. I feel like it's uh, it's uh, it's the year where Harvey Elliott actually picks up and like does. Uh, I mean, uh, cements his position in the starting eleven. I think Endo is gonna be there. I feel like they will sign a six. They need to sign a six. Even Endo himself said said that they need to sign a six, which is funny. I think Bajetek was good the, in the in preseason. I feel like Shobosla is okay. McAllister is good. McAllister is probably their best midfielder right now. Yeah, they don't have a six, so I'm gonna. Put my ratings down a bit. Like I'm gonna say seven or ten. Seven or ten. I I agree with that. Yeah, same six and a half, seven. They have Gravett back at six, but hasn't really showed anything even in preseason. Although you know we lost to his team, his midfield yesterday. But <laughs> it's a weird six team. Six and a half, seven. I don't think we can go about that. AJ, I know this is your second favorite team. You have some soft spots somewhere in the corners. So take us away with the attack. <laughs> I think it's the best attack in the Premier League, barring anybody. I think nine on ten for me. Even even with Darwin Nunes doing Darwin Nunes things, Jota, Clutch, Darwin Nunes, Chaos Merchant, Salah Sa- is Salah, and then they have Luis Diaz, and then Fabio Carvalho, Gakpo. Fabio Carvalho scored like two goals or like one goal, whatever, in the preseason. I think they're they're stacked, and if Arne Slot can use them well, I think they are. They probably will challenge again, or they'll come very close to challenging. And they haven't won really? a single player yet, I think. Yeah. yeah, have they? Not a single player. No. Not a they single. Have, they have things to do. Yeah, they look the best out of preseason out of all three of our three of our teams. Yeah, even yeah, City and sure. Chelsea included. I think in top six. Yeah, but I've, I'm not falling for Dutch managers doing well in preseason again. I've seen that script two times, and I feel like the third time will come out right when it's my rival club. But that's another story. Okay. But there's Break. something about uh, his th- like his whole gameplay, dude. Like he's just came in and set, like honest lot. He's just come in and settled in a way and like managed this team in a way where they're playing good football. I don't again as I need of said I don't understand what they're doing but <laughs> it's just good to watch that game. I mean I had fun watching that game Arsenal as Liverpool yeah. game even though there were a lot of youngsters and uh, you know a lot of people who probably won't play a part in the season were involved but it was still good to watch and that's just after 5 weeks so that's all because of this guy named Michael Edwards so what a guy fucking genius in football. He knows what he's doing. The respect of who the manager is. But this but, honest lot played, right? I mean, like, there are no yeah. changes, right? Like, there is. Yeah. Let's it's move. about, Break. like, putting in a good structure, but yeah, okay. Breakout star for Liverpool. I'm going to do this. Like, I have been in love with Harvey Elliott for Harvey the last Elliott. four years. <laughs> and uh, I saw him live this time, dude. I don't know, he's the answer, dude. He's he's basically Odegaard with a lot of Jack Wilshere-esque energy. <laughs> and I don't know, something about his style of play, something about his awareness. He scans the pitch them 15 times before making a move. His back balance his center of gravity is too good like he has he has a messy messy center of gravity and he has a really good final ball final pass and we've seen his shooting too i think this is a season and his lot no feel i feel like he's because he's starting him in all games he knows how to use Harvey Elliott and i have a good feeling that he's going to be the breakout star any other shots what about Curtis Jones i mean that's question to Nero i don't know i don't know much about Curtis Jones versus Harvey Elliott uh, do you think both of them will play or he's, no. Curtis Jones is good, but this is more like defensive profile, right? So, Javi Elliott is someone who I think is going to shine with the attackers that Liverpool have. But yeah, Curtis Jones is pretty good too. Depends if he stays, if he doesn't stay. Highest GA? Do you want David Nunes to... Is a breakout to... star? Breakout star. Yeah, could be. Could He's be. a breakdance star, ship, bro. bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he'll, he'll break out in the stands and get a fight. Get into a fight star. That's that, bro. That's that. Highest GA? Liverpool. If you're playing oh. FPL boys, it's more Salah. Come on, bro. Just don't even pick anyone. <laughs> Just move on. I'm so tired, number two. I think I'm going to say Darwin. Darwin. 
Liverpool. What is the probability of Liverpool in a title challenge? 60%. Tough. Tough. 60%. So I have it at 51%. I have it at 51%. Animation at... 25%. 25%. Said 30%. 30%. Wow, this, these are like... So Neera, what is Just your reasoning shows. bro? 60% on pre-season? Pre-season. Yeah. Just like uh, we've Arnish slot ball was confusing to us, right? No one has ever seen anything. Just the <laughs> compactness, just how fucking gr- drilled the team look without even making one single signing, without a lot of players coming back. Just mm-hmm. blowing. Like, I know the United played really well yesterday, but it's a clinical, bro. Like, Liverpool are, yeah. look sharp and they didn't need to play. You know what I mean? They did, even against Arsenal, we saw that live. It was like they, they were compact, they were good, they were they were there. So that's that's my reasoning. My my whole stance on Liverpool has changed. I think it's also the quality of their attack. Like they just they don't get too many chances, but when they do, they just score. So that really helped them. AJ has the lowest like probability for a title challenge. Any thoughts, bro? I think they can. They have the players. They have the squad. I don't think the squad is definitely the third best squad in the Premier League. Maybe Aston Villa you can jump like put in there just because of the signings they've made. But still, but Liverpool. Liverpool, great firepower, but also I feel like it can be an Ange effect, right? Like when a new manager mm. comes in, obviously you've seen their teams play in other leagues and they bring in new tactics. Slowly and gradually, teams tend to figure them out, and then they have to like. Except adapt for the and, fact know, that Liverpool are tactics. winners. Except for the fact that Liverpool are doesn't winners, matter. they know how to win. It really doesn't matter. That it's matters. Not it doesn't and matter. And a lot of the core I mean, team is uh, lot of the core team is. It didn't is matter there. last year. It didn't matter they last still have year with all the winners. Yeah, but like. I mean, last I mean, year it was, they were right there with the with the worst squad out of the top three. I would say they were out of Arsenal, there. City, they and were, Liverpool, they were there. They were, Again, they were there. They, they just had there. like a two-three week speed no, period spell were, where they were just they, like in the race. They, 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 they got dumped out. out of Europa at quarterfinals. They got dumped out of. They lost hmm. the. Uh, card, they won card, a they won trophy, the country, bro. But they lost the FA Cup. Can we say the same? It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. They finished right? just. Are we comp- they finished just seven. They finished seven points. I'm just saying so that, saying. like, with the with the lack of firepower, like with the lack of uh, a new recruitments and just the team being worse than City and Arsenal, they did really well last season. Third and already a Carabao Cup win, and just seven points off Arsenal, nine points off the top. It's not bad at all. With the with the with the manager who was leaving, by the way, so it's not easy. Um, I think that it yeah, that played I'm, a part into them being in top four and seven points apart, and that's why I don't have them out of top four. I don't think I think they'll finish in top four. I don't think they'll be. In the title race, that's all. Right. That's all I'm saying. Just because teams will figure Depen- it out eventually. It depends on the on the signings. Honestly, if they make a really good number six signing, which they can, remember always remember that they were about to spend how much on Caicedo. It really they have doesn't money. matter. They have money. It really doesn't matter. They're gonna do it. They're, it they're really just waiting matter. for the right. I mean, it really does not matter. I know matter. you don't really want any other title challenger other than Pep because it's it's like uh, like no, no, so no, no, stressful no, no. I mean, in Liverpool, life. Liverpool, Liverpool is totally fine. Liverpool is totally fine. But then it's the reality of the league. What happened to Ange last season? They were ten games unbeaten. They were top of the league. Dude, never, they... never, ever, 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 ever compare anything with anything to do with Tottenham Hotspur. This is the stakes are different. But then also <laughs> don't get carried away with the don't get carried away with the new. Coach and a shiny preseason because that doesn't say yeah. anything. I mean, they also were playing like, against mediocre teams with bench and kids, so you never know what's gonna happen, right? And Liverpool well, did have a pretty it. full he squad. Just, he just called Arsenal and United mediocre. No, no I said the players they were playing mediocre. Like you're playing Kivior at right back, right centre back. Kivior, who'd never start more than five games for us. Are you kidding me? We played Zinchenko Dude, against Salah, I mean, which we'll never play. They also I mean, didn't have like didn't have half a of their. I mean, the thing is, Liverpool didn't have too many players playing in the summer, so they are probably very well rested and they are ready to go. Like Salah had a full break, for example, so he's just ready to go in the Premier League. Similarly, in the midfield. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You don't. Okay, it's okay. We we are capped anyway, so we're good. Nirav just started a new recording, apparently. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Cool. Um. I think that's a wrap. We end on a contentious note. This time I have it on camera and recording that like AJ had a contentious take. I'm gonna say treasure it 
deserve it and like still rabbit in my top four. Still, <laughs> still in my top four. <laughs> still in your top. <laughs> cool. Uh, that's that's it from from the preseason pod. We'll probably come back, get together after United beat City in the Community Shield game. But until then, stay safe.